right, hey everyone. Today is video number two of our Thunder Jet video series. Today, we just got in a 21 foot Chinook Pro. This one has the Pro hardtop with a 250 horse Verado and 15 horse EFI Pro Kicker. All right, on this 2023 model, Again, it's the Chinook Pro. We're just gonna do a walk around on the outside and show you some of the options and features that we've put on this one. Big one right off the back is the transom door. Uh, this one makes it just really easy to get in and out of the boat uh, when you're in the water or here uh, on the trailer. Underneath, we have electric Lenco trim tabs and a big feature with the Thunder Jets, which makes them run so well is the extended running surface which the platform and engines are mounted to. The Verado engine, this 250 horse Verado engine is the biggest engine this boat can take. Uh, we're here in Utah, live at high elevation. Uh, we always put the big, the big guy on there. As we're walking around the other side, the 15 horse Pro Kicker, tie barred in, Mercury power steering comes standard with Verados, so that'll be your steering setup on the boat. Um, we do have two downrigger pads for a total of four uh, welded onto the boat. This is a tandem axle easy loader trailer, chine guides, spare tire. Big thing is the Pro, okay? So you can get the Lexus and the Chinook, which we have here in two different configurations uh, with a standard offshore hardtop or this is what they call their pro series hardtop more squared off stronger looking uh, more enclosed setup we have rod holders and net holders built into the sides along with the rocket launchers up top moving forward all the thunder jets hardtops are going to have sliding windows on each side for ventilation um, led docking lights here and their navigation lights are super nice built right into the top. Moving forward on the crossover boats, meaning again, Chinook and Alexis, they come standard with 14 inch bow rails, which are awesome for stability and when you just need to get up in the front tendon anchor um, in the rough seas. Moving forward a little bit more, uh, you can get these trailers with standard uh, surge brakes or you can upgrade them to electric brakes. This one has a standard surge brake. All right, now that we're into the cockpit of the boat, uh, I want to show you some of the features that this Chinook has. Uh, like we talked before, the rear transom door, very nice feature. Down along here, we've painted this with the multi-spec paint job. And also, we have rod holders, three on this side and three mounted to the port side, as, or starboard side as well. Behind these uh, diamond plate boxes are all your rigging, batteries, uh, and wiring very nicely laid out from Thunderjet. We also have the base station in the back. This is going to be utilized as a cutting board uh, along with all of your uh, features to hold your tools in the back. Thunderjet just beautiful welds everywhere, storage trays, and they just do a phenomenal job with their build quality. Storage is also a very big thing they try to incorporate into all of their models. With their very large live well in the back to in-floor storage in the floor. At the live well, when we open it up, this is an insulated box, very large, and it keeps the ice cold and doesn't melt on the summer months. Looking down towards the floor, we've chosen to do in-floor storage for all your gear you could pack down here with drains and then also small little storages on both port and starboard very nicely trimmed with shock absorber hatches one other feature tucked over into the starboard rear corner is their wash down system this is going to be built into the boat with a separate pump to draw fresh water from the lake very nice height here i'm six foot tall the overhang on the Pro hardtop is very good. This one has the rear canvas built in. This is a standard feature, new for 2023 actually. 
we have a light bar to light up everything at night. And built-in features on this hardtop are grab rails with the net holders. And there are rails in the top, so you can walk around the outside all the way to the bow. One thing I do want to kind of talk about is you do have the very good protection of this top, but in the summer months, if you want to maybe open up and free up your, your open floor plan, so to speak, with these quick release uh, fasteners here, you can easily make this boat feel twice as large by removing the aft can. All right, moving into the interior of the boat, Thunderjet, again, storage in this boat is big. Um, under both of the side seats, we have large storage. In this one, we have the optional porta potty. In the floor, we have large storage with built in rod tubes that go all the way to the front. That's about 10 feet worth of storage for your rods. In the large step going through the top, there's also storage in this box here. Uh, if you choose to put some sort of encoder on the front, this is an excellent place to mount all the batteries. And then some of the great features that they have built in, uh, also in the upwards here, we kind of pan towards the top of the top. We have upper rod storage. You could break a rod down, store them up high, and very nice upper shelves with grab handles. Moving now more towards the helm, again, Kind of a staple with us at Rogers Performance Marine. We use the Mercury 5 inch bezel view display. This thing is amazing. Uh, gets rid of all the round gauges, has built in charts, navigation, and, and, and really all your engine data is built into this. So uh, if you do have an alarm going on at the engine, uh, it actually will tell you, uh, not just having to decipher some code uh, of beeps. Verados are all Gen 2, uh, well they're all DTS and now we have the Gen 2 um, shifter. This has built in active trim standard now, uh, the automatic trim system um, that we may touch on later more. Um, being that there's the pro kicker on the back, tucked down here out of the way nicely, uh, easy to get to is the kicker shifter. This is going to be all your controls for the kicker motor and again tie barred into the mercury electric or hydraulic power steering. All right, as we're kind of moving forward towards the bow of the boat, we've got to mention these beautiful suspension seats. When you sit down in these in the rough water, by turning a simple knob, you can adjust the firmness very much to make to your ride superior. In the glove box up here, uh, they have a lot of the, the some of the cup holders that come with it, and your stereo, Bluetooth stereo, is tucked away up here. And then as we go forward to the bow, a little more storage up here, some in-floor bow storage with big drains to keep any sort of anchor, road, chain, whatnot, or any wet kind of storage. In these crossover models with the Chinook that we're in now and the Alexis model, Thunderjet, they just do a great job here in the bow. This diamond plate is awesome. The welding is superior. They raise this gunnel six to eight inches, probably more than the eight inches. They got a tape measure we can grab here in a minute, but with their 14 inch bow rails, this just feels secure uh, if you're tending an anchor or fighting a fish. All right, so to wrap up this one, um, this is a 2023 21-foot uh, Chinook Pro with the standard canvas back and not the aft bulkhead. Um, you know, if you guys comment below, if you have any questions, measurements, things, look us up, Rogers Performance Marine. Comment below that or find us on our YouTube channel, uh, Facebook or Instagram.